More than 100 Israelis have gathered for a new spin on an old tradition, a public reading of the Bible done once every seven years. Today we're celebrating the Hakel. It's um, a commandment from the Bible that at the end of the seventh year, every seventh year, uh, the king in the time of the temple was supposed to gather all the people in one central gathering and assembly and read from, from the Bible, from the book of Deuteronomy. And it specifically says, bring the women, the children, uh, the men, all the people that live with, within your uh, courts. And um, today we don't have a king and we don't have a temple, but we thought how amazing would it be to revive this ancient tradition. Members of the audience were invited to come up and read any passage they chose. The goal is to show that the Torah, or the Bible, belongs to everyone. The whole idea of this commandment of Hakel is about bringing everyone together. It's about unity, about democratizing the Bible and bringing it, making it accessible for everyone. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. We're, we want to hear all voices, men, women, children, elderly. Uh, we also opened it to have in many different languages. There was even live illustration of the portions read. Those who read said it was a moving experience. It's great. Um, you know, Hakel is one of those mitzvot that is one of these commandments that we don't really do today. It's nice that we have a country that we can do it. I felt like royalty because the king usually <laughs> uh, read out to the people. It felt amazing. It felt really like doing the mitzvah of Hakel in a, in a modern way, um, but also connected to our past and the mitzvot. I read the Ten Commandments. I thought that's a good passage to read. And I decided to do it in English. Even though I can speak Hebrew, Hebrew I wanted to do it in English to represent the English-speaking community and to make a statement that the Torah belongs to everyone of all languages, of all backgrounds, of all ages. I feel inspired. I feel that there's a great sense of unity here. I feel that this is part of the process of being in Israel to recreate these rituals. Support even came from an ultra-Orthodox yeshiva student. I think it's a wonderful thing because you see, again, you see in the audience, you see all different types of people paying attention, learning things. That's what Sukkot's all about, learning, learning experiences and learning about different things. And that's exactly what this is. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Jerusalem.